In effect, taking them out of this race one. Remember, it's the first boat to get seven wins. We'll be moving on to face the Americans come September in the 34th America's Cup, as Oral particularly say are the defenders. Here they are at gate number three, and a question or a decision to be made by Dee Barker and his crew as they make the turn. So the Kiwis go to foil as they make the turn at gate number three. Look at the acceleration and a big dip. Oh, goodness. And a man goes oh, over man, the side. The rescue goal will be there. Keep going, guys. Just slowly keep going. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable. Not just one man overboard, two men overboard. And there is the rescue boat right away. And this goes to the safety aspect. Everything really yep. has been thought of when it comes to the safety of the sailors. Well, they went around the mark and absolutely stuffed the bows for some reason. And you heard Dean Barker at the last yep. second say, big puff here, you guys. And look at the damage. Uh, oh, boundary, we're going to have to jog pretty soon, you guys. What a turn of events with the Italians basically sitting still in the water. One and a half more legs for New Zealand and tragedy strikes. Now, both men have been accounted for. You see the blue and the red flashing lights on their life preservers. Yep. They will be scooped up by the rescue boat, but now they sail with damage and a nine-man crew. Well, it looks like the trampoline ripped away when that wave hit them. It's Chris Ward and Rob Wardell, two of the big grinders. It, it, just your position, you're going to go. With that m amount of water force, you're going to go if it's your time to go. These are the two biggest, strongest guys I've ever met, and they get washed over the side. It looked like the fairing was broken loose. The fairing broke loose, and that actually tore part of the uh, trampoline away. Oh my goodness, let's look at this events. one more time. these guys, Todd, are in good shape. No they question about it. Here it is at gate number three. Can you take us through what went wrong? Because the acceleration was amazing. Just didn't get the foil down enough. Oh, they, this is all has to do with the pitch of the foil. The, foil, the bows went down, the bows didn't pop up. Dean Barker looking back and waiting. That's the speed here. He was a disaster. Oh my goodness. This could Nobody's hurt. But watch this. Watch this. Here it is on board. Okay. Man overboard, guys. Man yeah, overboard. Anybody thinks this is for the fan part, you've just, you've just witnessed modern America's cup. Incredible. And the damage on the front end as we look at it one more time is the speed. I mean, they put that thing five, six feet underwater. Man, you can see the damage man, right away on the right-hand side by the dagger board. It's just a fairing. It shouldn't be a structural problem. It's probably just a wind fairing. Yeah, Roger, Fortunately, those two guys are in good shape. Yeah,